All right, for everybody who's in their first microeconomics class, I can guarantee you're gonna face price floors. I'm a tutor and this is what you actually need to know about that. And real quick, if you want me to explain the rest of your class too, go check out my microeconomics cram kit. It takes me about two hours to explain to you every concept in this class. Price floors, in essence, are a minimum price that the market can sell a good at. And they're artificially set by the government. So let's imagine in this market, the government comes in and says, hey guys, you can no longer sell below this price floor right here. It's our new minimum price that you can sell the good at. Well, what that's gonna do is basically just invalidate any prices below this green line, which is a problem here because currently our P star here, our equilibrium price is below that green floor. So it's gonna impact how consumers and producers operate in this market. We're now hitting the demand curve right here and the supply curve right here. In translation, what this means is that at this new price floor value, producers are going to want to sell or supply more units to the market. Think about it from their POV. Like if you're selling a good and the market goes, hey, now you have to sell it for a higher price, you're gonna be like, okay, great, I'll make more money per unit. Let me spit out more units. Now from a consumer POV, they're not going to demand less from the market. And from our perspective, this is a little bit easier to understand. Like imagine the government says pizza slices cannot be sold for less than 20 bucks. You're gonna just demand less pizza slices because it's way too expensive for you. So from here, we gotta just completely ignore that old equilibrium quantity because all that matters now is this discrepancy between the quantity supply and quantity demand. More units are being supplied to the market at the higher, artificially higher price, and less units are being demanded by consumers. That means we're gonna have a surplus of units that are sitting out there in stores, but nobody wants to buy. Suppliers wanna sell more at this new artificially high price floor price, whereas consumers just don't wanna buy it because it's too expensive for them. So that results in surplus of units. And that's kind of it. Like that's the core of what I'd make sure you know about price floors. My biggest tip for you is whenever you have a price floor problem, make sure that the floor occurs above equilibrium because if it doesn't that means it's a non-binding price floor i'll post a video on that here in the next couple of days but with that being said if you like how i explain microeconomics seriously go check out my microeconomics cram kit i basically bundled together everything that i tutor you on if i was your microecon tutor it's got concept breakdowns practice problems it's the best way to get caught up in class and it's available to you whenever you need it